Hey guys, it's Shock with GG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my monitor settings, in game settings, mouse settings, uh, keyboard, peripherals, all that. So. To start us off though, we're going to start with the in-game settings. So first off, uh, general settings, we're going to go down the list here. So to start us off, squad privacy, I have on invite only. I don't like when people join my game, simple as that. Uh, interface settings, these are like, uh, if I have like points on or like verse notifications, stuff like that. So these are kind of like a lot of settings to go through. So to not spend too much time on it, I'm just going to scroll through. You guys can pause on whatever you guys want to watch. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through. And again, whatever you guys want to see, just pause the video and, and check out. So that's the end of the interface settings. Uh, next up, we have ping. Ping is on. Uh, game info, I have off. This is like if you want to know like your MS and your FPS and things such as that. Uh, personally, I think it's a little bit distracting. It's too big in the bottom left of my screen. Um, I prefer to have the Uplay FPS counter on. So if you see my FPS counter in the top left here, uh, I basically have this by hitting Shift F2 on PC and going up to um, settings and then FPS counter and I check that on. And then next up we have cycle inside camera groups. I think this is for like spectating and stuff. I don't know, I have it off. Uh, drone after prep is automatic and PC chat I have on. Next up for audio, I have my uh, language on English, of course. Uh, I have subtitles on and I have my master volume at, normally it's at 70, but I had it on 50 because I was playing casual and I was watching a video. So normally I have that on 70. And then I also have my Windows like uh, system uh, volume on 70 as well. I don't know why. I'm um, kind of weird like that. Music volume I also have on zero. And then dialogue volume I have on 60. For my dynamic range, a lot of people ask, you know, hi-fi TV night mode. Personally, I use night mode. I don't really have a reason for this. I just know that a big person in the community a couple years ago was like, yo, night mode's the best. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, I don't know if it's still the best but it's what I use and it's what I've used for years and I'm used to it, so I'm just gonna stick with it. Next up is the voice chat volume. I have this on 70 and I have mute on unfocused on. So basically I'm in windowed mode now, so I'm not full screen. So if I were to go to my second monitor and not have the siege in like focus, basically I'm, I'm not tabbed into it, uh, all the audio would be muted. So I just like that on, so if I'm tabbed out or whatever. Um, anyways though, voice chat is on push to talk because I don't want open, open talk on, it's just weird. Voice chat record levels on 100, voice chat record thresholds on 35, and that's about it for audio settings. On to display. So I have two monitors. I have this uh, Acer 144Hz, and I have this Acer Predator 240Hz as my primary like gaming monitor. I play in 1920, 1080, and I do play in full screen, but again, I'm in windowed mode currently so that I can go to my second monitor for recording in like OBS or whatever. Uh, but normally, of course, it's windowed mode. And then I play in 240 hertz and I play 4.3. Uh, as for V-Sync, uh, widescreen loader box, I have both off. And then I also play on 84 FOV. I don't really have a reason for 84 FOV and 4.3. It's just I like 4.3 better uh, and I like 84 FOV with it better as well. Next up for calibration, uh, which is brightness. I have my brightness on 70. All right, so next up we have our graphic settings. So my graphic settings are a custom, of course. I have basically everything low or off besides shadows. Shadows I like to keep on medium for the dynamic shadows. If you don't know what dynamic shadows are, they're basically like moving shadows. So uh, I guess the best example would be for operators. An operator has a shadow when you have dynamic shadows on or medium or above for the shadow quality setting. Um, and basically when they move, their shadow also moves so this can help you get some free kills sometimes if you see their shadow moving before you see them you could pre-fire and get a free kill so personally i have medium on for shadows for that reason uh, but anyways moving on again everything is low or off besides uh, shadows on medium and then i like to have ta on and i put my uh target fps to zero render scaling 25 and this is supposed to be 100 uh, TA sharpness on 100 and I know that's I know that a lot of people don't like TA it makes things sound a little bit blurry but unfortunately right now I meant to get a 2080 Ti months and months ago before the 30 series and I was never able to get one because of shipping issues and all of that uh, and then COVID happened and they the prices for them all went up so I couldn't afford it so I have my old 1080 right now and unfortunately, my RAM is also incompatible with my AMD CPU, which is awesome. So basically, I have a really old GPU and my RAM doesn't work properly. So I unfortunately only get like 160 frames, which may be a lot to some people. But when you have a 240 hertz monitor like myself, it's 
really sucks to not get 240 frames because you're not utilizing the full power of your monitor so when i have ta on i can easily get like 300 plus like 330 so for that reason i have ta on now when i fix my ram and i get like a 30 series gpu i'm definitely going to turn ta off but for right now when i'm streaming it takes a lot of my uh gpu or cpu or whatever and it just really affects my fps so i have ta on for at least right now next up is controls so uh, again, I'm kind of going to scroll through the individual controls and you guys can pause and see what you want to see and all that. Uh, but for raw input, I have off. Uh, currently in this season, Neon Dawn, there is a bug where if you have raw input on, uh, your sense feels like way out of whack. So I have it off right now. Uh, mouse look version disabled, of course. Uh, my vertical and horizontal is 14. And my old my old ADS sense for like Shadow Legacy or, or before or whatever, was um, 55 and now for the new uh, advanced ADS uh, I, again I'll just scroll through here you guys can pause and see what you want to see but uh, yeah this is my sense when I put it through the converter anyways uh, moving on mouse scroll I've disabled so that means uh, I can't switch weapons with the scroll wheel uh, it, gadget deployment is advanced drone deployment also advanced aim is on toggle that basically means when I go to aim down sights, I have to click right click only once and then I'll stay ADS even if I let go of the mouse and then I click it again to un ADS. So a lot of people are somewhat confused on what that is for whatever reason. But yeah, that's basically what that is. I know I'm weird for running it, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, moving on though, lean is on toggle, sprint is on hold and crouch and prone is also on toggle. And then for the individual controls, again, I'm just going to scroll through and you guys can pause on what you want to see. While we're waiting though, if you guys have not liked this video or subscribed, I really would appreciate it. It would really help me out here or comment for the algorithm. Give me some extra views. I would really, really appreciate that. But anyways, these are my controls. Uh, again, if you guys want to see something specific, I know I'm scrolling pretty fast. Just pause and you know, look at what you want to look at. Uh, I don't have too many controls changed, mostly default, but I do have some specific ones changed uh, just for like personal preference. You know, I think controls are personal preference so use whatever you want to use but these are what i use um anyway so that's going to be the end of those on to accessibility so reticle settings and all that i have the purple reticle and i'm on 100 opacity and all of these settings are off um whatever these are the the like voice chat thing the tts i have all that off i don't like that um so that's about it for the in-game settings so for peripherals, I'm running the Razer, what is it? The Razer Huntsman Mini keyboard, and I'm running a G Pro Wireless with Hyperglides right now. I just ordered like two or three days ago the G Pro Superlight, so I'm waiting for that to be shipped to me. Of course, it's going to take a little bit to ship. Um, but yeah, so I'll be switching to the G Pro Superlight as soon as I get that. As for mouse pads, I have two mouse pads right now that I'm using, surprisingly. I have the Artisan Hein fx soft or whatever it is um i didn't buy it personally so i don't know the exact like uh name of it or whatever my mod basilisk bought it for me so shout out to basilisk thank you for the mouse pad um underneath it though i have my HyperX uh extra extra large mouse pad it's a cloth mouse pad this is what i use uh if i'm not using the the artisan pad but uh he gave me this as a gift so of course i'm using it so i'll switch to hand cam really quick so i can show you guys kind of my like my mouse pad setup here all right so as you guys can see these are kind of my mouse pad setup so this is the artisan mouse pad as i was saying and then underneath it i've i've also got the hyperx mouse pad so this is the xxl it's like three and a half feet long or something it's absolutely huge um this is what i would normally run the reason i have it uh underneath my artisan pad is because if you look over here where my keyboard is i don't like to rest my wrist directly on the desk i like to have like the the mouse pad there because that's what i'm used to so i have the mouse pad there just like that and then of course you can see a little bit of my keyboard here this is the razor huntsman mini um so yeah that's uh, kind of it for my peripherals one last thing i suppose if you really want to know i'm running the hyperx quadcast for my mic and uh, i think that pretty much covers all of my peripherals in-game settings um, as for like NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA control panel settings, all of it is defaulted. I don't run anything crazy. Besides, I have my digital vibrancy on 75 and everything else is default. Monitor settings are default. Um, I don't have any like special brightness or saturation things going on there with my monitor. It's all completely default uh, as when I bought the monitor. And I think that pretty much covers all of my settings. So if you guys liked the video, do please be sure to subscribe and like the video itself. It would really help me out. Uh, also, before you guys go, I have a sponsor named Goat Guns. 
these guys make awesome miniature model guns for like gun enthusiasts or gamers that just really want like a model gun from you know their favorite fps game so this is one of them here that i have uh this is i know the glare is a little bit much but this is the uh bear 50 cal i also have another one that i'm currently building i have the golden ak um, i'm going to show some like images of some of the guns uh from their website on screen now so basically these guys make some very awesome um metal model guns and they've got working parts moving parts uh they don't shoot of course they're just models but if you guys like to pick one of these up for like a christmas gift or whatever they've got a lot of guns from siege and stuff like that be sure to check them out i'll have the link in the description i'm gonna get you up to 10 percent off so anyways yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching